can be killer here in Wyoming. And we're now faced with what could be a life and death decision for our peacock, all due to sub-zero temperatures and a massive amount of frostbite. I've gotten used to having the male peacock around. He makes you smile when you catch him fanning out his feathers to try to impress his girlfriend or whoever might be watching. So I guess I can say that I have a stake in keeping him alive and happy as well. But now our male peacock is faced with a life-threatening dilemma. This winter has been extremely cold, and a couple weeks ago we found out that he had frostbite on one of his feet. We called the vet and went back and forth, and it was determined that he's probably going to lose his foot. Now, he's been hobbling around for the last couple of weeks, and we put him in the barn where he couldn't injure himself anymore. The vet was correct, and his foot just fell off. Since then, his stub has healed nicely. You know, it's amazing how quickly birds heal, but now we're left with a huge decision. A peacock like him can live up to 25 years, so the question is all about quality of life. Every day of our lives is spent with and around animals. You build a rapport and a relationship with them that you can't find anywhere else. And it's, you know what, to be perfectly honest, when your wife and kids are crying because an animal might have to be put down, it becomes a mission to do your best to save it. I don't know what's gonna happen with a peacock. I have watched a lot of crazy YouTube videos this last week where um, birds have gotten 3D legs and they've been well taken care of and seem to have a good quality of life after that. I hope somebody has an idea or a solution. I, I don't wanna lose them. After we posted our first video about the peacock losing his foot, the Reddit community went into action. Specifically, one user who spearheaded a mission to obtain a plan for a 3D prosthetic leg, originally designed for a stork, actually. We emailed back and forth with dimensions, and he had the 3D printing done and sent it to us. And that basically brings us to today. It's amazing, to us anyway, that people took their time and money in order to help us and a peacock that they'll more than likely never meet. We can now go and get him. With the peacock in place, we're gonna give him a chance to get used to his new area before we start messing around with him again and applying his new leg. First things first, we have to fit the new leg to him, test fitting it and measuring where the foot will be attached to the support pieces. With the measurements transferred, then it's back upstairs into the shop, first attaching a piece of felt padding to the foot where his stump will rest and the weight will be carried. Then screwing the support brackets to the foot. The new leg is held on by zip ties for now. Not too tight, not too loose, although we might switch these out for Velcro straps to make it easier to get on and off of him. For the next few days, we're going to have to babysit him pretty closely, removing the prosthetic for periods of time, letting him get a break from it occasionally. But for right now, it's the moment of truth. The angle 
does seem a little bit off on the foot, but that's an easy fix. Removing one of the screws on each side allows us to tilt the foot for him and get him standing on his own for the first time in a month. You'll notice his wing dropping down, and that's because he's been using that wing for balance. All this time, putting it down on the ground to help him move around. Now, it's become second nature for him, and he keeps wanting to drop it down, but soon enough, he's going to figure it out. Just like any injury this major, he will require time and work to get back up to speed, but for now, he needs to get used to it and break in his nice new white kicks. Mm -hmm.